All right, this is a Samsung side-by-side -side American style fridge freezer. Uh, now in this video I'm going to show you how to remove the fridge evaporator cover and change it. So the first thing you do, at the moment, as you see, I've already taken it off, but I'm going to show you and explain to you how to, to do the process. The process is first of all, you take all the shelves out, which is lifting the front and taking it out. I've already done that to save time. Uh, if you, at the same time, if you want to change the lamps as well, uh, that cover in the back, right in the middle, you have two covers. You have one uh, bigger one and then one smaller frosted um, panel. Uh, all you have to do is just pry it open with your fingers and take it out it just comes off and the lamps are there you can undo them and then replace them now the two screws here flip screwdrivers and you need flip screwdriver and take those out if you want to take this out and clean behind it but there's not much there but um, just the panel itself and then you put the lights on clip this clip this back on so that's that part for this part <clears throat> as you can see I've already taken the that's your this is your evapor evaporator the evaporator is take the, the cover is taken off and inside that and you can see this is the cover and inside that you have a channeled insulation a fan with its cables and underneath here On the, on, on the actual panel you have a heating element. When you find the fridge to begin with, this is how you find it. And of course, I forgot about this one. This is on top of here. two flip screws so one here one here holding it I've taken the screws out and gently put this aside then you have two covers here you uh, take the covers off with just your fingers or something sharp without damaging the panel uh, behind them you'll probably have some deodorizers Mm, they're basically bags of coal you can take them out if they're iced or frozen you just make sure you're not destroying the panel you just gently take them out you can use hair dryer to melt the ice and frost but um, I'd already taken these off I didn't have any deodorizer so you'll see two screws here flip screws you need flip screwdriver, take them all out, and then you have two more here. Although you have taken four screws out, you might still see that this panel is not coming off. The reason is you probably have ice behind it built up and is attached to the back of the fridge, which is why I've taken this out because we had built up of ice and the ice was even uh, catching the fan and, and it was making noise. So you might experience the same problem and as I said uh, this is also uh, come off well I've taken it off with two screws one screw here one screw there you take it off put it aside gently without damaging the pipes at the bottom and then to take that completely out and then to take that completely out I would wait like I've done, I've waited for the ice to melt away and I've taken as many uh, chunks of ice as I could by hand from the top but uh, the rest of it I 
switch the fridge freezer off completely, unplug it or switch it off from the socket and, and that, that way it's safer as well. Then uh, once you've taken the screws out, you, you have space here to put your hands there and pull it back and also at the bottom you have this flap plastic, this is just for pulling it out, this is not doing anything, it has no other function. Then you pull it out and it comes out. Then you have you'll have to take those plugs out and I'll show you how to do that. Right, to unplug, uh, you have a little piece of plastic here on top of each uh, plug that you have to press down like this. You see, this is plugged in like this. You have to hold it like that. This either side you have these red plastic connections. On top you have a spring and uh, plastic you have to press it down and pull it out it just releases that uh, latch it releases that latch so you pl unplug it the same way with this one and you can see the shapes are different so there's no way you can uh, mistake uh, one socket with the other so they only go to the right place. And here you have a channeled insulation. Inside you have channels and you have a fan there. And you have two plugs. One is for the fan, the other one is a heating radiator basically on, on the just just behind this bottom of this panel so uh, you might see ice all around here and as you see the ice and the insulation hasn't been good enough to cause all this black mold so this is really bad and I'm not gonna uh, although I've cleaned it and I've cleaned the fridge as you can see it's sparkling inside there but this panel is not good because it's moldy it's really harmful for you because what it does is this fan is going to blow all this uh, mold throughout all the fridge through these channels throughout the channels you have through each shelf and then you have mold basically spreading into your fridge and to your food and everything and it's not good it's not hygienic if you wanted to keep this and your your foam insulation is not too bad you can keep it then and, but you want to take the fan out and defrost it maybe you have frost there or you, you want to clean it you have four screws here around one two three and one screw behind here you have to unscrew this cover a little bit loosen it and then you can have access to that screw take that out this whole thing comes off then you can clean that area but the link to buy this whole uh, piece uh, is in the description of this video and uh, make sure still that it matches the model of your fridge freezer and the part number is the right part number for your uh, for your fridge freezer uh, this is this is how you take it off now as you can see the inside of the fridge it's all cleaned up this is the best opportunity for you to clean everything and if you need to change the lamps also change them and then once the part comes I'll show you how to put it all back together again and 
I'm just at the moment it's all switched off, defrosted, cleaned up both sides, freezer and fridge. We're waiting for the uh, evaporator cover to come and when it comes I'll, I'll put it back on and I'll show you how to put that back on together. So if you have uh, any issues with ice building up on one side of the evaporator cover in my case was all around here built up on that cover you can see ice even from outside you can see ice around here building up here where the shelf was so that is an indication this is not uh, circulating air properly in the fridge and it's blocked so you need to at least take that out clean it out and put it back on if you don't want to change it it's up to you but if it's moldy i would suggest you change it because it's harmful uh, so we'll show you now how to put it back together all right the evaporator cover has come this is a new one and when you actually lift it it's probably a quarter of the weight of the old one the reason is the styrofoam inside there is probably logged with water because it's all it was all iced up and the water had gone in there, mold and everything. So now this is because it's brand new and you know, obviously there's no water in it, it's so light. So anyway, uh, we put this on. Uh, I have the link to buy one of these if you need them down in the description of this video. Uh, so you have two plugs. There is one way to put these in there there is no other way, you can't get them wrong. But for, with this little one, which is for the heater at the bottom here, uh, you can put it this side or this side. Uh, the right or left side of this same socket. It has to be where the pins are. So in my case, it's on the left side. So it has to go there. In your case, you have to see which side you have the pins sticking out. And then that's where it should go. You just have to put the bottom part first in and, and squeeze it in because it's brand new styrofoam uh, it's, you know it's a little bit tight to squeeze you have to it has to be actually snug in so it's in and you put the screws back on It has to be quite tight, uh, don't tighten too much to break it, but it has to be quite tight and snug so there's no air going out from behind the insulation so there won't be any condensation or icing up again. So it has to be tight, but not too tight. And just put four screws and make sure they are in the right place and then keep tightening all around. And you don't tighten one and then go to the other one, just tighten all around. And then finally, you put this uh, flap, you click it in, and it's just there. And then at the end, you put this back on as it was with its two screw screws.
Again, don't tighten too much as long as it's tight and it's not wobbly or making any rattling noise, then that's fine. With these, I haven't tightened them yet. I've tightened the bottom ones. I have to tighten the top ones. Okay, that's it. Now we can turn it on and have a look. This cover usually the fault associated with this cover it could be icing up on one side or all, all around it, uh, water leaking, uh, not maintaining the right temperature all throughout the fridge or making fan noise like noise the fan is actually catching something and it's making noise which is probably ice and the fan is catching that so turn it on Put it on minus 14 and the fridge is um, put it on 5 degrees. That's my setting, you can set your own however you want. So this is done. You can now put the shelves uh, back in and shut the door and that's it, that's finished. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to uh, share so other people with the same problems can find and um, be helped, be good, help others. Till next video, goodbye.